Hey guys, good morning. It is 11.54. Um, I haven't really done anything yet today because I woke up at like 10.30. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to wait around and I might do something with Brittany later today and um, a friend Brittany, but I'm not really sure. My hair is a mess, so I'll have to fix it if I do go anywhere. But other than that, I don't really have anything planned. I'm just going to hang out, um, read, write some stuff. I might work. Remember when I... You might not, you probably don't, um, but I was working on my sister's lamp, um, making, like, bead things for it. I might do some of that today. I'm not really sure. I'm just kind of hanging out right now, and, um, like, I have a bunch of, like, little sticky note things on my computer, um, like, background, and so I, I cleaned up some of those and, like, organized them, and I think I might write some of that story while I'm on break this, these next two weeks. Which, by the way, yesterday was two weeks until I have to decide about that one college. So I have less than two weeks now. And I'm a little nervous because there's still a few different places that I wish I could, that I want to apply to. Um, which makes me feel like maybe I'm not ready with just these two options that I have right now that I'm really looking at. Like, I have five colleges that I've been accepted to. But I'm really looking at two of them right now. And um, I've kind of limited it down to those two. But at the same time, I still want to apply to other colleges, which makes me feel like I'm not just settled on those two, and I'm not really sure what to do. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to try and wait a little bit longer and figure this stuff out. Um, it's really scary. This is like the biggest de biggest decision of my life. Um, it's insane. So I'm just going to go and try and avoid those thoughts for right now. Okay, hey guys. It's like 2.30. Sorry, I'm listening. Um, anyway, you probably can't even see me. It's so dark. Like, it's not dark out, but it's just dark in my room. Um, I have a whole bunch of garbage to throw away. And, oh, I've never shown you guys this yet. Um, oh, well, it's falling off now. This is my big winter coat for, um, especially when I go to college, but obviously now, um, I can start wearing it. But it's a Columbia... It has this like thermal compete or co thermal comfort omni heat, um, and then as you can see inside, it's like this. So I'm gonna just kind of like show you more about it in a second. Okay, so I've actually never unzipped it before, but as you can see, it's just a black jacket underneath. So I just unzipped, um, going here and then over here, and then um, so anyway, there's this blue pocket over here on the inside of the inner coat, and it's all just this lovely tin foilish looking thing, which is just super warm. And this is actually a large. I thought I got the medium. Oops, my bad. But bigger is better, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so here's the other, the um, inner jacket. And then it has these pockets and then that blue one. Um, so yeah, it's just a plain black puffy, a little bit puffy jacket. And then this one has, okay, get ready guys. It has vents on the outside. These aren't pockets, just vents. And then these pockets here. And you open it up, it has this huge pocket. It has this band at the bottom that's like elastic -y, and you can snap it so it's like really tight around you. And then it has this little extra flap, you know, for your, like on the outside. It's kind of where it like covers your butt, to be honest. Um, it has these little things to cinch it. And then up here, there's this pocket. I think it's a pocket. Um, I'll check that out right now. Yeah, it's a pocket. And then it has um, this pocket down here in this vent. So... And then it has a hood. So that is my brand new Columbia jacket um, that I'm that I got for Christmas or I am getting for Christmas. But um, yeah, especially for college, it's going to be super super great. Um, I've been researching one of my main two colleges, and it's the one that I have to make the decision on by January third. Um, I really like it, and I'm thinking about going there. Um, but I still have to do some research on the other school and then just really think this over, pray over it. I haven't prayed over it nearly enough yet. Um, I haven't been praying as much as I should be lately, but anyway. So I'm going to, um, also research the other college, pray and think about it and weigh my best options, especially with, like, scholarships and stuff and financial aid. I need to figure that out too, um, you know, because I have to pay for this and I know I'm going to have to take out a loan and I'm just afraid because I need to start working now. I should have started working like a year ago. Um, and I just, 
I need to get my stuff together like ASAP and life's getting real here and I'm really terrified. Oh, I'll also get the other stuff my grandma got and I'll show you. My battery's about to die on my camera again so I have to charge it today. Alright, so I also got these 1800s or whatever you want to say, um, gloves and they have like the touch things but that's not what I cared about. I just cared about, um, sorry you can see the touch things better now, but I mainly just cared about, um, the warmth and they are really warm and they were cheaper too. Um, a little bit. So this hat is, it's a North Face hat. Um, I was originally getting a, a purple North Face and then I traded, but anyway. So, I don't really care about the brand though. It's just a, um, it has like this material on the inside, fleecy, I don't know, whatever. Really soft material, you guys know what I'm talking about. And then this, and that's like knit on the outside, it has the little like, fluffy ball things. Okay, anyway, it's super soft and comfortable. Um, but I forgot to show you guys my favorite part of this coat, one of them anyway, is this inner sleeve part, like I rolled it up to show you guys. But there's a thumb hole. And it's super tight. It's like Under Armour or something, and I just love it. So, the Santa Claus is on, but Son-in-Law is on again. One of my other favorite movies. So, I'm probably going to go back and forth, but Son-in-Law has been on for a while. But anyway, so I'm obviously going to watch the Santa Claus. And I also just plugged in our tree again. We haven't had the lights on in a few days. Um, so, I'm really excited about that. So, I'm just going to enjoy the Christmas festivities. And my dog is going to continue to bother me. And I'm going to have dinner at some time, because it's like almost 6 and... My dad went to a party, my mom is sleeping, I need to wake her up so she can get to work. Um. Hey guys, so that salad that I just took a picture of, um, it's this, you can see it. So, I'm obviously almost done, but um, yeah, it's not much of a salad because there's no lettuce, but we have lettuce in my house, but it's like a month old, like literally, I don't know why it's still in our fridge, I think my mom just threw it out. But anyway, um, whatever. <laughs> so I ate the salad, it had... Um, just like a Tyson chicken patty, um, a chopped up carrot, like a, a regular size carrot, um, five minute noodle bowl, like noodles, and then it had like the vegetables from that in it too, and then I used blueberry vinaigrette that came from Red Lobster actually, so yeah, that's it. Um, the Santa Claus 2 just came on, but instead of watching it, which I love it, um, which by the so anyway, I'm gonna go put shorts and a t-shirt on, and my, um, tennis shoes and I'm gonna like walk and maybe even run a bit on the treadmill just because I feel like it. There's this post on Tumblr which I will try and find a way to link it or something um but it says like anyway it's like a running inspira inspirational running post um and it's like I don't do it because I want to be thin I, I do it because someday someone will ask me to or you, you never know when someone's gonna ask you to or something like that because like in a movie they're always like run run and so you have to be ready for it. I mean, you can't just start running like that. You're going to be winded so fast if you're not in shape. So that's actually a reason why I've always wanted to run is just because I'm paranoid. I'm always like, but if I ever had to run for something, I'd never be able to run because I'm not in shape. So I think it'd be really cool to just, like, start running. And honestly, someday if I were in shape enough and I was a good enough runner to do, like, a marathon or, like, not a full marathon, but a half marathon or something, that would be amazing. But I just, I don't feel like I'll ever be able to achieve that. You know what I mean? And there's a difference for me between running outside and running on the treadmill. But I'd like to start on the treadmill and work my way up and then go outside and work at it. Because I've actually always aspired to it, but I've always been horrible at it. And I kind of have asthma. Like, my lungs are really weak. And I feel like I... My mom said there's this thing called sports-induced asthma. And I've never actually looked it up or anything, but I think I have it. <laughs> so now that I've rambled about that, I'm going to go do it. Alright, hey you guys. I randomly felt like doing my makeup, so obviously my lips are probably the most dramatic thing. Um, here's the look overall. I actually, things look kind of greenish or weird in here, so I'm going to try and focus on some blue to get some of the yellow away. But it's not really working, because over there it looks like it's greenish, neon, whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so anyway, my hair is crazy from today, but here's one eye. I use two different palettes. Here's the other. Um... I have a lot of blush on and lipstick, and so this is how I look, and I'll take some pictures just for the heck of it. Um, but yeah, so I just felt like doing my makeup, like crazy makeup. I'm not using, I didn't use mascara or foundation or powder or anything, but I used like eyeshadow and stuff, um, lipstick and blush, which I never use. So, sorry, I can't really, I don't have my... Okay, so this eye, I actually kind of, I did like a lot of dark green and then I kind of smoked it out. And obviously it's not very cleaned up. Um, this one over here is just a mess. 
a complete mess. Um, I'm just having fun though. I do this every once, like, great once in a while where I'm just, like, really bored. And I'm like, hey, makeup! Because I can't really wear it every day. Um, actually, I can't wear it every day. Eyeshadow makes my eyes freak out. I'm really My eyelids and everything are really sensitive. But it's really fun to just kind of mess around sometimes. So that's what I've done. And, yeah.